So what exactly are the top five performing Fidelity index funds here in the middle of 2021? What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe Investor Channel. My name is Joe. And in this video, we are talking about Fidelity index funds, but more specifically, the very best performing Fidelity index funds so far here in 2021. Yes, we are gonna talk about those top five performing index funds here in 2021, but we're also going to widen the scope and look at how fun these funds have performed, not only this year, but also last year, the last three years and five years and beyond. Because if we're talking about index fund investing, we are talking about long-term investing. And knowing how these funds perform just in 2021 is not enough information for us to make an informed decision. And then secondly, what we'll do is we'll compare the list of index funds that are performing well so far this year and we'll compare it to what was performing the best last year. I love talking about all things investing, including index funds and investing for retirement for the average Joe. So if you appreciate this video, you've learned something new, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. guys, Joe here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below the video to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you do click that subscribe button, make sure to leave me a comment below saying you subscribed and I promise to personally respond to your comment. You guys know how much I never want to waste your time and I always want to deliver massive value as quickly as possible with every video I make. So without further delay, let's jump right into the content. The very first index fund we're gonna talk about here, number five on the list of top performing index funds here in 2021 so far this year is the Fidelity US Sustainability Index Fund. Ticker symbol is F-I-T-L-X. Now this fund seeks to provide investment results that correspond with the total return of the MSCI USA ESG index. That's a lot of different abbreviations there. So normally this index fund invests at least 80% of the assets in this index, which represents the performance of stocks of large to mid cap US companies with high environmental, social and governance performance relative to their sector peers. This just gives you a general idea of some of the factors that go into what what types of companies are in this index. So they filter out companies that don't meet these types of standards, environmental, social, and government. So under environmental, we're looking at climate change, carbon emissions, air and water pollution, biodiversity, energy efficiency, waste management. And then from social perspective, we've got you know human rights, labor standards, community relations, gender and diversity. And then from a governance standpoint, how they deal with executive compensation, lobbying, political contributions, et cetera. Whether you agree with this index or not, that's not the point of this video because I don't do politics on my YouTube channel. Point is this fund is outperforming the majority of Fidelity index funds out there. This fund is year to date up 18%. Over the one year, the past 12 months, it's up 40.78%. And then the three year return average annual return is 19.79%. As you can see, this fund was created May 9th, 2017. It has an expense ratio of 0.11%. Just to give you some awareness with respect to, you know, wh what that expense ratio really results in real life. Let's say you had $10,000 invested. You'd multiply that point by 0.11%, which leads to $11 a year in expense ratio. One of the great things about Fidelity index funds is that all of the index funds have a minimum required investment of zero dollars, which means you're gonna start with just one dollar. Now, why is this fund performing so well? Because it does have some high performing stocks in there. You can see here the top 10 holdings make up 32.35% of the portfolio. And you should be familiar here with Microsoft, Google Class A and Class C shares, Tesla, Johnson & Johnson, Visa, Procter & Gamble, Disney, Walt Disney, Nvidia, and Home Depot, though it does have a total of 266 holdings. From a market sector weighting standpoint, you can see that, that the top sector is information technology. It makes up over a quarter of the portfolio. Second, there would be healthcare, then consumer discretionary, financials and communication services. Okay, number four on this list of top five Fidelity index funds performing so far year to date in 2021 is the Fidelity Zero Extended Market Index Fund. Ticker symbol here is F-Z-I-P-X. As you can see right here, this fund seeks to provide investment results that correspond to the total return of stocks of mid to small cap US companies. They normally invest at least 80% of their assets in the Fidelity US Extended Investable Market Index. This is considered to be the mid and small cap stocks at the top of the top 2,500 US companies, excluding the largest 500 companies. In other words, you take 
the entire stock market, right? And you get rid of the top 500 largest companies. What you're left with here is the mid cap and the small cap. And so this is a, it's, it's like taking a mid cap and a small cap index and combining them together. It's the extended market. You, as you can see, this fund was created September 13th of 2018, and it has a 0% expense ratio. It means as an investor, it costs you $0, 0 cents to own this index fund. Year to date, this fund is up 19.27%, good enough for fourth place on the list here of index funds from Fidelity. And then the one year return, 60.87% for a lifetime return of 13.93%. From a sector standpoint, you can see here that we have quite a bit of a blend here. Industrials make up 16% or 16.6, .6, financials make up 16.5, consumer discretionary makes up 14.16, healthcare at 12.68, and information technology at 12.58. Scrolling further down, we can see the top 10 holdings. There are 2,119 holdings in the portfolio, and the top 10 only make up 2.32%, so it's very balanced among its holdings here. Top 10, American Airlines, L Brands Inc., Hunt, JB Transport, Dense Supply, Serona Inc., Airbnb, Whirlpool, Williams Sonoma, West Rock, Snowflake, and Molina Healthcare. And just for your awareness here, if you are investing for any type of dividend mindset, which by the way, I would not call this a dividend index fund whatsoever, but most index funds do pay dividends. This index fund, all of the Fidelity Zero index funds only pay an annual dividend or distribution, and that happens every December. All right, number three on this list here from Fidelity Index Funds is the Fidelity Mid-Cap Value Index Fund, ticker symbol F-I-M-V-X. So we just talked about the extended market, now we're specializing further into just mid-cap value stocks. As you can see here, the objective of this index fund is to seek to provide investment results that correspond to the total return of stocks of mid-cap US companies. Specifically, the, as you can see right here, the Russell Mid-Cap Value Index, which is a market cap weighted index designed to measure the performance of mid-cap value stocks. So we've got balance in an index fund when we include all of the types of companies in the index. And then we've got growth, which are generally younger companies that are still in the growth phase of their business. And then you've got value, which the flip side, generally established companies that might be trading at a price that is very enticing to an investor. And so that's where we got value and you got growth. This is the mid cap value index fund. As you can see, this fund was created July 11th of 2019 and it has an expense ratio of 0.05%, meaning $5 for every $10,000 invested in this fund. Year to date, this fund is up 20.28%. The one year return is 52.83% and lifetime 15.77%. From a sector standpoint, we can see that we've got a little bit of balance here. We've got industrials at 17.57%, financials make up 16.56%, consumer discretionary 12.44%, real estate 10.01%, information technology and materials at 8.96 and 8.15 percent. Scrolling down to the actual companies here, we've got total holdings 710 in this portfolio, in this index fund, and the top 10 holdings make up 6.2 percent of the total portfolio. We've got companies like Twitter, Ford, Freeport McMoran, Johnson Controls, HP, Parker Hannafin, Train Technologies, Cummins, Aptiv PLC, and Prudential Financial. And just for awareness, from a distribution standpoint, it does pay a semi-annual distribution in August and December. All right, number two on the list here, from Fidelity, the Small Cap Value Index Fund. F-I-S-V-X. The Fidelity Small Cap Value Index Fund was created July 11th, 2019. And let's scroll down here to get some more details. We can see here, the strategy is to invest at least 80% of the assets in securities included in the Russell 2000 Value Index, which is a market cap weight index to measure the small cap value segment of the US equity market. Small cap means smaller companies, and small cap has been on a tear over the past year. The Fidelity Small Cap Value Index Fund is up year to date 24.72%. The one year return 73.1% and lifetime 20.25%. Coming over to composition here, we can see from a market sector standpoint, financials make up 26.76% of this index fund, followed by industrials at 16.84%, at consumer discretionary at 14.47%, real estate at 8.3%, materials at 6.6, .6, and then healthcare and information technology. Top 10 holdings here in this small cap value fund include Darling Ingredients, GameStop, no surprise there, <laughs> Cleveland Cliffs Incorporated, Novavax Inc., Penn National Gaming, 
Performance Food, United States Steel, Caesars Entertainment, Stifle Financial Corp, and Oventive Incorporated. I know, I know you're thinking, well, it's got GameStop in the portfolio. No wonder this index fund has performed so well. But you should know here that GameStop does not make up a significant portion of this index. In fact, the top 10 make up only 5.6%, and it's not the top holding here, it's number two. So just know that there are 1,500 holdings in this portfolio, and GameStop is just a very small portion of it. All right, lastly, number one on this list here of top performance Fidelity index fund so far in 2021 is the Fidelity Real Estate Index Fund, ticker symbol FSRNX. Now I know what you're thinking, holy smokes, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see real estate coming as the best index fund. But if you think about it, if you stop to think about how the local real estate market is for you guys, I don't know about where you're living, but here in California, it's off the hook. As it says here, the objective is to seek to provide investment results that correspond to the total return of equity, real estate investment trusts, and other real estate related investments. They invest at least 80% of the assets and securities included in the MSCI US IMI Real Estate 25 25 index. This fund is up year to date 25.50%, the one year return 38.19%, three year return 7.66, five year return 4.89, and lifetime 9.19%. The fund was created in September of 2011. Expense ratio for this fund is 0.07%, so only $7 for every $10,000 invested. We know that this fund is entirely about real estate, so we're looking at a sub industry diversification here. So, of all the real estate here, Specialized REITs make up 36.4%, residential makes up 14.17%, retail makes up 10.45%, industrial makes up 10.31%, and then healthcare makes 8.42%. Top 10 holdings here make up 38.21%, so we are slightly uh, weighted heavily in the top 10. There are a total of 172 holdings. Top 10 make up 38.21%. We've got American Tower, Prolegis Inc. REIT, Crown Castle, Equinix, Public Storage, Digital Realty Trust, Simon Property Group, SPA Communications, Well Tower, and Weyenhauser. Now what's interesting here is these top five make up nothing related to growth. And that was the name of the game in previous videos I've made here with respect to top performing Fidelity index funds. We can see here we had the Fidelity Small Cap Growth Index Fund that was part of the top five that I made kind of in December of 2020, small cap growth. Now the Fidelity extended market was up here as well. So that was one that was well performing in 2020 as well as in 2021 so far. Another one that was top performing last year was the mid cap growth index fund we can see right here. This one was up 28.71% year to date in November of 2020. And then of course we had the Fidelity large cap growth index fund here. FSPGX, that was one of the top performers as well. That was up 32% as of last year, November. And then we had the Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index Fund, FNCMX, another top performer. So we had a lot of growth last year, but guess what? Things have changed and that's the, the nature of investing, guys. One investment generally does not perform the best every single year. Some years it's growth, some years it's the S&P 500, sometimes it's small cap, sometimes it's mid cap. Point though is, we don't know what the future holds. We can have general ideas of what we think is going to be important in the future, which is why some people invest so heavily in growth and information technology, but at the end of the day, you know, you just don't know what's gonna happen in the future and things change year to year. So the perspective I take is, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. So I do growth, yes, but I also do small, mid, and large cap when it comes to retirement investing. I've got a long-term mindset. So my 401k is in growth. It's in the Vanguard Growth Index Fund, I believe. And then my Roth IRA is in small, mid, and large cap indexes. Small cap, mid cap, large cap. 30%, 30%, 30%, and then like 10% in international. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. So as a result, should we buy just these five index funds? You could, but that does not necessarily correspond with a long-term investing strategy. This is the name of the game right now. This is the flavor of the day. Before we can choose investments, we have to know what we are trying to accomplish and know how long we need to invest. Next week, I'm gonna do a Vanguard version of this, looking at the top Vanguard exchange traded funds and index funds so far in 2021, though I expect we might see a very similar trend where growth is out or at least performing 
average and we have stronger performers in small and mid cap indexes. Make sure to leave your two cents in the comments below guys. Let me know what you thought about this video. I haven't done a Fidelity index fund video in a while and I know that there's a lot of people that watch my channel for that and for long term investing strategies. So I wanted to do one of those update videos here. If you have other ideas, other types of videos you want to see me make and it's in line with what the channel does, I will certainly consider it. Make sure to leave your two cents in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Have a great rest of your day and please continue to stay healthy both physically and financially. Have a good one.